Welcome to the Infrared Spectrum for Friday, April 14th. While last week's episode generated a lot of interest and a lot of questions regarding resolution and temperature. And I've got a resource I'd like to share with you. More on that in a moment. First, the latest from ITC. We're seeing a growing interest for requests in on-site training. That's an option for certification that not all of you might know about. You see, with on-site training, there are many benefits, including reduced travel expenses, lower per person training cost, the convenience of training at your own local facility, we can also incorporate hands-on field work using your equipment, as well as customize the training material and improve the overall student to teacher ratio. The following courses are available as an on-site class, including level one, level two, and level three training, optical gas imaging, furnace inspections, and research and science. If you're interested in more with on-site training, you can give us a call here at 1603-324-7783 on our 800 number or send us an email at info at infraredtraining.com. Last week on the Infrared Spectrum, we talked about the impact of resolution on temperature measurement. And it's a very important thing for thermographers to understand. Well, there's a great resource available that I want to share with you, and it's from the FLIR support website. If you go to FLIR.com support, you can get access to our field of view calculator. And this is great for those of you with FLIR thermal imagers who want to learn more about the resolution specifications of your particular camera. Let's check it out. So starting here on the FLIR support website, select the link for commercial, industrial, and scientific infrared measurement cameras. Next, scroll down to locate the image of your particular model. If not found, be sure to click More to display all current thermal imaging systems and associated products. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll select the new EXX line of cameras from FLIR systems. Listed here are all the configurations for this model. On the left, clicking any of these links will access the specification sheet for that imager. On the right, however, is where the field of view calculator can be accessed. Select the link of the corresponding camera to open the FOV calculator tool. You'll see displayed some of the specs for this model, including the detector and lens size. Remember, from the last episode, resolution is really a function of both parameters. As such, what the calculator will provide is an estimated value for detectable target size at a given distance with the current lens and detector configuration displayed above. Under the Other Distances field, select what units you would like to use. We'll pick feet for this demonstration, but the output will also include metric equivalents. Let's try it at 10 feet and see what we get. Type in the value and select Calculate. Now for this configuration, the FLIR E75, which is a 320 by 240 focal plane array with a 24 degree lens, standing at 10 feet away, my HFOV, or horizontal field of view, is 4.22 feet. That's how far across I'm seeing displayed in my field of view, or what's essentially on my screen. The VFOV, or vertical field of view, is 3.17 feet. It's the IFOV, however, the instantaneous field of view, which is the resolution value we are seeking. It's important to note that this is strictly for detection. MFOV or measurement field of view is not provided. To get an estimate of what your MFOV might be, it's about three to four times the IFOV, depending on the type of camera that you're using. Of course, this doesn't account for issues of emissivity and other object parameters, but for spot size ratio, this field of view calculator is a great tool for thermographers to use so they can better understand the resolution capabilities of their thermal imager. And remember, it's not just the field of view calculator. We have a variety of other resources available online, including our social media feeds with ITC. Whether it's Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, or Instagram, you can check us out there for the very latest, special promotions, upcoming training events, and a whole lot more. Speaking of social media, we've got a new video that was just posted this week on our YouTube channel. It's Corbett Lunsford's keynote presentation at Information 2016 in Las Vegas. It's from his Prove as Possible tour with the Building Performance Workshop. It's all about performance in buildings and how the industry is evolving. To check it out, head to youtube.com slash infrared training and look for it on the Information 2016 playlist. And of course, if you have any questions or comments regarding the topics that we've discussed today, Drop us a message here in the comments field on Facebook, YouTube, or LinkedIn, and we'll get right back to you. Well, that'll do it for another episode here of the Infrared Spectrum. Hope you enjoyed today's segment. We'll see you online again soon. Until then, have a great weekend.